Hey everyone, the name is Eric Thor and the Winter 2019 personality test is here. So, okay, what's a flow, flow type test and how does it work? First and foremost, flow type tests focus on asking you questions about what you enjoy rather than what you dislike. So what you enjoy, what puts you in a positive state of flow, what makes you happy, that's the most important thing. This is kind of a cognitive function test. So instead of asking whether you are introverted or extroverted, I ask you whether you use one of 16 possible cognitive functions. What's new about this approach since autumn is I also now weigh and understand that every cognitive function is used differently by every personality type. So I really try to take into account how different cognitive functions work together. So every question is basically two cognitive functions in one. And your result is weighed together as a mix of all these. Today we're going to look and see what result I get and what uh, I would answer on this personality test. Good luck! I enjoy reflecting on philosophy and my life and my purpose and my emotions. Yeah, I spend every day wondering about these things. This is uh, probably the thing I do more than anything in my life. <laughs> and uh, if you would say that's boring, you know, that's a sign you're an extroverted sensing and thinking type. I enjoy questioning ideas from different perspectives, trying to figure out the truth or right answer. I do, I do do this, I enjoy this, uh, but uh, the question of truth or what's right and wrong is to me very difficult and I think it's hard to know for sure. In the end, it's more a question of uh, making peace with yourself and finding peace inside. Question number three, I like spending time gathering and testing the evidence before I form an opinion about something. And this is something I could do a lot more um, to make sure everything is correct and that everything is working before I publish it. But that would mean that we would get a lot less content and uh, perhaps I would hold myself back because sometimes things can be correct even if you haven't tested it yet. Number four, I like learning about and reflecting on my past and where I come from. I actually never think about these things and I should probably think about these things, but I actually never do. Uh, maybe I do it sometimes, so I would go disagree here, but almost never think about these things. More than when asked about it, perhaps. Like making sure everybody is enjoying themselves and having fun. Oh, I do this, but I don't like doing it. So I would say disagree. I enjoy testing my skills and abilities against other people. Um, I can do it, but uh, I don't like when other people are testing their skills and abilities against me. <laughs> so I'm kind of in between. I like discussing dreams and feelings from different perspectives. Um, I do like discussing it, but different perspectives, I'm not so sure. I enjoy experimenting, arguing, and testing out different ideas with others. Mm, I would say I fall on disagree here. Uh, maybe it's if another person takes the lead, this can be very fun, and if I can be in the background and observe, then it's nice, but I don't like to do experiments when other people are watching me. I enjoy coming up with fantasy worlds or abstract systems. Well, that's a question for me. Okay, that's what I've been doing my whole life. I like to question myself and reflect on various hypothetical scenarios. Don't you just like, by the way, when you get a question that really hits home? Doesn't that really click with you and go like, yes, that's that feeling is so nice and you can only really get that when you start really digging deeper into yourself. I like to question myself and reflect on various hypothetical scenarios. Okay, um, I don't necessarily like doing this, uh, but that would fall somewhere in the middle. I enjoy exploring and trying out different options or possibilities. Well, can do, um, but uh, don't do it too often. I enjoy coming up with or uploading a new goal or project. I can definitely enjoy this. I like to plan new trends and fun events. Mm, I like being spontaneous, doing things on the fly. No, definitely not. I like to be in completely in control of my own body. Sure. I like to be completely in control of when I'm, what I am doing on a day. Um, I can uh, be spontaneous if other people need me to. I like to take care of and support those who need me. Yes, definitely. 
I like to know everything about how the systems around me work. Yeah, actually, yeah. <laughs> Definitely, I like that a lot. I enjoy being in charge and telling other people what to do or how to do something. No. I like to spread a positive and friendly atmosphere everywhere I go. Uh, yes. But I am okay with talking about difficult things as well, if necessary. I like to discuss my ethical views and beliefs with others. Well, that sounds really nice. I enjoy arguing with others. No. I like providing advice, feedback, and data to aid in decision making. Mm. Mm. Okay, it can get boring, to be honest. Depends. I enjoy to reflect on my own thoughts and feelings about something. Yes. But I think I don't tend to think about my own thoughts so much as everybody else's. I have very strong ideals about what I should do or who I should be. Too strong. Too many. God damn it. I enjoy using strategies or systems to make decisions. Uh, yes, I can do it, but I don't know if I enjoy enjoy it. I need a lot of structure and organization to feel relaxed. Mm, no, but I have learned that I need to have it to be successful. I need my environment to be clean and beautiful. Mm, I can completely detach from my environment and what's happening around me, so no. I enjoy being spontaneous enough to say or do whatever I feel in the moment. <sighs> I tend, li tend to like being my own boss, making my own money and career. Mm, I would say... Yes, I have a million business projects or ideas I'd like to try. I have quite a few. I have many complex paradoxical beliefs and values. I would not say they are paradoxical, but sure, they're complex. And uh, here we go. Okay, no surprise there, I got INFJ, the idealist. So. This is uh, one of the more rare personality types in the world known for deep innate sensitivity. Something that's not immediately clear to other people. They can be quite private. They prefer to keep their own emotions hidden from the world. But they focus a lot on other people's feelings. They can project a tough exterior outwards, but inwards they can appear to be... They can have quite dramatic emotions and feelings. On the outside they can appear quite plain, spending little time on their appearance and how they dress, but on the inside they can be quite complex and deep. So that's my personality type, let's look at my scores. What do we get here? I and E is kind of uh, on the 40% edge there, so 10% more introverted than extroverted, that's a strong result. And 60% more intuitive than sensing, that's also a very strong result and 40% uh, on feeling and yes once again kind of in the 10% uh, stronger judging than perceiving so this is how I type people um, there is 16 cognitive functions every question tests two cognitive functions together so introverted intuition and introverted feeling together combined to give you a higher score on introversion and a higher score on intuition and a higher score on feeling and a weaker score on extroversion sensing and thinking and grouping that together at the end of the day of the 32 questions you get a pretty advanced and nuanced score that can give you a pretty clear indicator because i test the way i do most people will not get very strong results they're not supposed to get much stronger than 70 to 30 percent uh, and if you start falling in that zone you can start showing to be uh, quite unbalanced or unhealthy True this, most people's personalities are quite tendential. You know, we are a little bit more introverted than extroverted, a little bit more intuitive than sensing, a little bit more feeling than thinking, but we have all sides to ourselves and we're quite complicated in that sense. So you want to look at uh, the totality of who you are and how you act and you want to see yourself in a nuanced and open way and you want to look at your personal type in a dynamic sense. My God, I should have shaved on that picture. Thanks for watching this video and I hope you'll enjoy the test and uh, hope to see you all in the next video.